Hello, everybody. Maureen Dinkins here, and I am with my dogs, Lula and Curry, and we're going to be doing a vinyasa flow today. Um, today is Thursday, April 16th. I hope you are staying healthy. I hope you are staying well. I got to say, yesterday was kind of a slump. It's been a long time that we haven't been out socializing with our friends. We can do it on the internet, but nothing's the same as just seeing a good old friend and giving them a hug. And sometimes it's hard to believe that we can't do that right now. So yesterday was a little bit hard. It was definitely a hump day. But today is Thursday, it's a new day, and with the sunrise, we can always go in a new direction and never stop walking towards your dreams. Sometimes you're running, sometimes you're sprinting, sometimes you're flying, and sometimes you're just walking. So always face the direction of your dreams and remember that it's the journey that it takes to get there and not the destination. What if you were at your dream right now? How would you feel? It would be all over. It would be the end. So enjoy the journey. All right, today in this vinyasa flow class, we'll be doing some easy poses, maybe a couple of difficult or challenging postures. I encourage you to try your best and do whatever you can. And tomorrow will be the Ashtanga Yoga led primary series. We might only get through half of the primary series on the first day because it takes an hour and 15 minutes just to get to that point. And then over time with practice, we might extend it to an hour and a half. So if you are all ready, why don't you come to standing at the top of your mat? We're gonna go right into some sun salutations and then we'll be moving to postures that are down on the floor. So as you bring your feet together, bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes and take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more breath in through the nose and a deep sigh out through the mouth. Just let go of anything that's been bothering you and take these next few moments to give to yourself. Start to create a breath you'll keep throughout your practice today. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Filling and emptying the lungs completely with every breath. Maybe setting in a good intention to help raise your vibration today or maybe you have a high vibration today like I'm feeling a high vibration and you can help lift some people up today, but you gotta fill that well first. So here you are giving to yourself so that you can be your best for others. Bring your arms down by your sides. Inhale, sweep the arms up, press the palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, bow your head, bring your head to your knees. Inhale, look forward, step back to a plank or high push up and exhale, elbows in, lower your chest to chaturanga. Inhale, roll your feet to the top and look up. Exhale, flip your toes and press back into down dog. Moving into our first down dog of the day. Tuck your chin to your chest, gaze to your navel. Bend one knee at a time. Start to stretch the calves one at a time. Let the thoughts dump out of the crown of your head. At the end of your next exhale, look forward. Step your feet between your hands so your feet are together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stand up. Reach your arms up over your head. Press your palms together. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do one more of those. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Look at your thumbs. 
Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor, kiss your knees. Inhale, look forward, stepping back to a high push-up. Exhale, elbows in, lower down. Inhale, roll to the top of your feet, arch your back, look up, straight arms. Exhale, pull your navel in as you press back into down dog, holding here for three breaths. As you finish your third breath, look forward, step your feet between your hands, inhaling half lift, exhaling fold forward, inhale stand up, palms together, look at your thumbs, exhale arms to the sides, moving into crescent lunges in sun salutations. Inhaling hands up, palms together, look at your thumbs, Exhaling, fold forward, bow your head, kiss your knees. Inhaling, look forward, step back with your left foot and bring your left knee down. Inhaling, hands up, palms together, arch your back, look up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Look at your thumbs, arch your back. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for three breaths. At the end of your third breath, look forward, jump or step your feet between your hands. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling, fold forward. Inhale, stand up. Palms together, look at your thumbs. And exhale, arms back to the sides. This time we're gonna do the same thing starting with the left knee lunge. Inhale, hands up. Palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, bow your head, kiss your knees. Inhale, look forward, step back with your right foot, bring your right knee down. Inhaling, hands up, palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward, bring the knee down. Inhaling, hands up. Exhaling, hands to the floor. Inhaling, three-legged plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog for three breaths. At the end of your third breath, look forward, bend your knees, jump or step your feet between your hands. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands up, palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, arms to the sides, good. We're gonna do something similar to that, this time with the knee up in lunges, and we're not gonna hold that last down dog. We're gonna step forward at the end of the vinyasa, so our shoulders get a little bit of a rest. Starting with the knees bent, so bend your knees, reach your fingertips to the floor, sink your hips as low as you can without lifting your heels. Inhale, hands up, palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, hands to the floor, straighten your legs, kiss your knees. 
Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step that left foot back, runner's lunge. Inhaling, hands up, palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhaling, take the left elbow across the body for a twist. You can stay here, or if you know a deeper version, go ahead and take it. Breathing for one. Two. And three, as you take that third exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, down dog. Inhaling, left leg up. Exhaling, left foot forward. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, twist, right elbow across the body. Prayer position or arms extended. Breathing for one. Two. And three. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Now remember, we're not going back. We're going to step forward. Step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, kiss the knees, bend your knees, sink as low as you can. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Exhale, back to standing, great. All right, let's do it again. Starting on the left side, bend the knees, inhaling, hands up, palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhaling, fold forward, kiss your knees. Inhaling, look forward, Step your right foot back, runner's lunge. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, twist. Now, if you'd like, take a deeper version of the twist that you just took. Hold for three. Breathing for one. Two. And three. Inhaling, come up, exhaling to the floor. Inhaling, three-legged plank, exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog, exhaling, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Inhaling, come on up. Exhaling, twist. Taking your deepest, bringing your hand to the floor or your right hand up or over. Three breaths. Breathing for one. Two. And three. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the floor. We're going to step forward. Inhale, half lift, stepping forward. Exhale, kiss the knees. Bend the knees, inhaling, hands up, palms together. Exhale, samastitihi. Have to fix my microphone. Lula just moved, likes to move things around sometimes. Okay. From here, we're just gonna take some basic forward folds. So spread your feet about hip width apart. And if you don't know how far hip width is, it's the heel presses into one arch and then just simply turn your foot. And that's hip width for everybody. All right, hands to the waist. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, fold forward. Take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling, fold forward. Hold here for three breaths. Inhaling, half lift, and then from here, you're going to take your hands and bring them underneath your feet, getting your toes as close to the wrists as you can. Inhale, look, look forward. Exhale, head between the knees. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Three breaths.
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, stand up slowly. Exhale, bring your feet back together. Good. From here, step out wide on your mat. It doesn't matter which side. Not too wide. We're going to move into a triangle posture. So if you've done triangle before, you know that it's not the widest posture your feet can make. It's a comfortable wide. Arms extend, right hand reaches over the right foot, and then bring your hand down. You're welcome to use a block if you need a block. Otherwise, grab your right big toe with your peace fingers, bring your left hand to the sky, and look up. Three breaths. On your third exhale, bring your left hand next to the arch of your right foot. Turn your left heel back a little bit more and twist, go right in, going right into revolved triangle. Reach up, look up, three breaths. And after your third breath, bring your hand down. And then we're going to just twist back into a pyramid pose. So try to pull your right hip back, your left hip forward. You can use those blocks or just bring your hands to the mat and try to bring your chin to your shin for three more breaths. Inhale, head up, and then slowly rise. Turn, arms extend, you're facing the side. Turn your right toes in, turn your left toes perpendicular to your right. Reach out over your left leg with your left arm, and then go ahead and grab that big toe if you can. Right hand reaches up, look up, hold here. After your third breath, move that right hand down, turn your heel back, bring your left hand up for revolved triangle. And exhale, bring that left hand down. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, step back to the front of your mat. We're gonna move into some side angle poses, which are a little bit deeper than the twists that we did and the side angles, the crescents that we did in sun salutation. So from here, you're gonna take a nice wide stance, almost as long as your mat, maybe right underneath your hands if you reach your arms out. Turn your right toes to the back of your mat and bend into that right knee. Option one is elbow to the thigh. Option two is hand to the floor on the pinky toe side of your foot. If you want to use a block, go ahead, reach your left arm over your head and look up, hold here, three breaths. And then after your third breath, inhale, lift the torso, keep the legs, and we're going to twist. Take your left elbow across your body. Keeping that back foot flat on the mat, you can either take your left hand down and right hand over your head, or just do prayer position for three more breaths. And then on your fourth inhale, come on up. Warrior two, hold here, three more breaths. I know your legs are probably burning, but you can do it. Beautiful. Three breaths in reverse, warrior. Look up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten that leg. Inhale, come to center. Pivot, turn. Exhale, bend into that left knee. Good side angle pose. Sink those hips. Take that left hand to the pinky toe side. Reach your right arm over your head. 
Modified his elbow on the thigh. Look up, three breaths. And then inhaling, come on up. Keep that knee bent, turn the torso. Exhale, right elbow across the body. Keep your back foot flat, prayer position, or arms extended, left arm reaches forward. Inhaling, come on up to warrior two, hold here. And bring your right hand down, bring your left arm up and reverse warrior. Inhale, exhale, inhale, back to the top of your mat. Nice job, everybody. Of course, we gotta work out some of the lower back stuff, so we're gonna do some wide foot stretches. And if you've taken my class before, you know that I really enjoy these postures. So we do them almost every single class, but they're one of the best hamstring and shoulder openers you can do. So turn your toes in so your feet are almost pigeon toed or at least parallel with each other. Inhale, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward, bring your hands to the mat. Inhaling, half lift. Exhaling, fold forward, bowing your head down towards the mat, evenly distributing the weight through the bottoms of each feet foot. After your third breath, inhaling, head up. Exhaling, hands to the waist. Inhale, stand up slowly, good job. Inhaling, arms out. Exhaling, interlace your fingers behind your back. Use a towel or a strap if you need help here. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades and exhale, fold forward. Three breaths. Inhaling, slowly come up. Exhaling, hands to the waist, last one. Inhaling, roll your shoulders back. Exhaling, fold forward. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, pull on the toes, bow your head, lift your sits bones. After your third breath, inhaling, half lift. Exhaling, hands to the waist. Inhaling, come back up to standing. Exhaling, step back to the top of your mat. Good, let's move into some balancing postures. One of my all-time favorite balancing poses is tree posture. So let's bring the bottom of the right foot up into the left thigh. Bring the knee out to the side, pushing the right hip forward, tucking your tailbone. There you go, now you feel something. Bring your hands to your heart and bring your arms up over your head, like this, like this, or however you want to be. Stay here. And exhaling, bring the hands back to heart center and release. Bring the weight of your body into your right leg. Take your left foot up into your left thigh. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, hands up.
and then exhale, bring the hands down and release. Good. All right, let's take a vinyasa, feet together, inhaling, hands up, palms together, look at your thumbs, exhaling, fold forward, hands to the floor, kiss your knees. Inhale, look forward, step back to plank, exhale, lower down. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Look forward, bend your knees, jump or step your feet together. Bend your knees, sink as low as you can without lifting your heels and inhale, bring the hands up. Looking up, holding here for three breaths. Exhale, twist, take your left elbow across your body. Bring your hands together and gaze up. Inhaling, hands up. Exhale, other side. Inhaling, hands up. Exhale, straighten the legs, kiss your knees. Inhale, look forward, stepping back. Exhaling, lower to chaturanga. Inhaling to upward facing dog. Exhaling to downward facing dog. Good, step your right foot up between your hands. Bring your hands on either side of your right foot. Bring your knee over your ankle. Bring the weight into your front leg and lift your left leg. Good. As you lift your leg as high as you can, bring your head to your knee for a standing split. Hold here for three. Good. Lift your head. Now bring that leg level with the floor. And then come on up to the hands to heart center. Stay here or move the arms forward for warrior three. After three breaths in warrior three, bend your right knee, step to the back of your mat and inhale up into warrior one, hold here. Now turn to your right side, we're doing a twist. Open the arms, look back to the right hand, sink a little lower. Good, exhale, pinwheel your hands to the floor. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog, exhaling, down dog. Let's do the left side. Inhaling, left leg up. Exhaling, left foot forward. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. Hands to the mat. Inhaling, press into the left foot as you lift your right foot up as high as you can. Head to the knee, lift the leg higher. Hold here for three. After your third breath, bring your right leg level to the floor and lift the torso, hands to heart center, or hands forward for warrior three. After your third breath, bend that left knee, step your right foot to the back of your mat and inhale to warrior one. And then twist over to your left side, open your arms and you're gonna look back to your right arm, hold here. And after your third breath, exhale hands to the floor. Inhale, three-legged plank. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, pose of the child. Rest for a moment. And then inhale, come on up. So there's a pose that I like to do. I haven't done it in a while. And I think since a, a lot of you have been at home, maybe you're not wearing uh, st structured shoes like you normally do. If you go to a, a job in an office or you need to wear structured shoes for your job, warehouse, restaurant, whatever. So this is a great time to work on stretching the feet. So what you want to do is you're going to curl your toes under. All right. So you can see that your feet are about hip width apart. And we're gonna try to get all the pads of the toes to touch the mat. And you're just gonna sit on those heels. Now, if this is really intense for you, just stay right here. Otherwise, slowly come up. And then the farther you lean back, the more intense the stretch is gonna be. And you can use your hands to guide you. And if you wanna take a back bend at the same time, go ahead, looking to the wall on your back or the wall behind you, hold here. Good, lift the head, inhale, come forward. Exhale, rest in pose of the child. Come on up to the hands and knees. Bring your left knee under your hip, your left hand underneath your shoulder. Take your right foot, rest, rest the arch of your right foot in line with your right toes. And inhale, bring the right arm up for a modified plank position. Hold here. Good. Exhale, come back to the hands and knees. Let's do the other side. Bring the right knee underneath the right hip. Right hand under the shoulder, step your left leg back and reach your left hand up, hold here. Good, exhale, bring it back down. So maybe that was easy for you. Now we're gonna do full uh, side plank. You can do the knee down if you want. Bring your left hand underneath your shoulder now you're going to step both feet out. You want to try to stack the right foot on top of the left and make sure that left hand is underneath your shoulder so you have a nice stable base. If you want to go deeper, create a straight line up your right side. Hold here for three. Good. Inhale to plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, roll over to your right side. And then reach that left arm up. Hold here for three breaths. Good. Inhale to plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to pose of the child rest. Inhale to hands and knees. Exhale here. Inhale, bring your left arm up. Exhale, twist, reaching through, resting on your left shoulder. Reach your right arm forward and just let gravity take over. And then bring that right hand back in front of you. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm under. Rest the shoulder down. Bring your left hand forward. And 
And then bring your left hand back in front of you. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, hands and knees. Working on a little balancing posture here. Send your left leg back. Reach your right hand forward. Hold. After three breaths, reach back, grab the foot. Hold for three more. Good, exhale and release. Let's do the left side. So send that right leg back and reach your left hand forward. Look towards your left hand. After three breaths, reach back, grab your foot. Leg up, head up, hold. And exhale, release. Rest back into pose of the child for three more breaths. Good. Inhaling, come to plank. Exhaling to Chaturanga, inhaling to Upward Facing Dog, exhaling to Downward Facing Dog, inhale, come through to a seated position where we'll work on some forward folds. So bring your hands by your shoulders, underneath your shoulders, bring your uh, shoulders back together. So squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chest, bring your belly in, flex your feet, look down your nose, hold here for three breaths. Good, inhale, lift your head, exhale, fold forward, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. Inhaling, head up, exhaling, fold forward, head to knees. Inhaling, head up. Lock your hands, exhaling, head to knees. Inhaling, head up. Exhale and release. Good. So you should have a nice stretch in your back. Your hamstring should be nice and stretched out. And we're going to move into some knee bending postures. And then we'll do some more forward folds. So take your right foot into a half lotus position. If you can't do that, that's okay. Bring your right foot into your elbow crease. Bring your right elbow around your knee. And then just hold here. Okay? You can start here if you need a little extra warming up and then bring your right hand, right foot into half lotus. Holding here, reach around with your right arm, try to grab your left, or if you're a little extra bendy today, take your right hand, grab your right foot and fold forward, reaching for the outside of your left foot and bow your head to your knee. After three breaths, inhaling, come on up. Bring your right foot underneath your hip. And this is option one, just to sit in lotus posture or grab the elbows, elbows behind your back. Option two is to go ahead and take that left foot right on top in a lotus posture. And then once you grab your elbows behind your back, exhale, bring your head to the floor for three more breaths.
Inhaling, come up. Now, if you'd like, you can uncross the legs and roll forward onto your hands and knees. Or if you're in lotus, you can roll up to the knees in lotus posture. Bring your elbows underneath your chest and jump back to plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhaling, down dog. And then inhale, come back through to a seated position for the same pose on the opposite side. Go ahead and take that left foot into the elbow crease and the right arm around the knee, holding here, or take that left foot all the way into a half lotus posture. Reach around with your right hand or your left hand to grab onto your right arm or grab your foot. And then exhale, fold forward, hold here. Inhale, come up. Take that right leg and stick it underneath the left. Or if you want to go a little bit deeper, and this might be awkward for some of you because you may be used to doing lotus the other way, you're gonna switch it up today. Bring that right foot on top of the left, and then reach around, grab for your elbows, exhaling, fold forward for three more breaths. Inhaling, come up, and we're gonna take another vinyasa like that. So you can uncross your legs, or you can just roll up to your knees while you're in lotus posture. Bring your elbows together underneath your chest. Lift up, go back. Inhale, up dog. Exhaling, down dog. Inhaling, coming through to a seated position for some easier seated poses, but that are still intense on the hamstrings. Bring your right foot into your left thigh so your legs are at a 90 degree angle. Inhaling, hands up. Exhaling, take your foot into your hands and bow your head. After your third breath, inhale, come up. Take your left elbow to the inside of your knee, resting it down on the mat, and reach your right arm over your head, trying to grab for your toes, or just stay here and look up. And after your third breath, inhale, come on up and exhale, straighten the leg. Bring your left foot into your right thigh so your legs are at 90 degrees. Inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, bind your hands around the bottom of your foot and bow your head to your knee. Inhale, head up, exhale, release, and take that right elbow down to the, to the mat on the inside of your right leg and reach your left arm over your head and look up. Inhaling, come on up. Exhaling, we're gonna take a vinyasa. We already did that. Cross the legs, this is the last vinyasa. Step back to plank, exhale, lower down. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, down dog. And inhale, come forward. So all of those forward bends that you do help to massage your inner, um, 
your internal organs, your digestive organs, but so do twists. So now that we've kind of got the digestive system moving a little bit, we've got some movement in there with the forward folds, we're gonna work on some twists and wringing out right side, left side. So first we'll do Marichyasana, bend your right knee, make sure you have a nice space between your foot and thigh so that you can bring your shoulder down. And what we're doing is squeezing this right side of our body or almost the big intestine so we can squeeze it and move that last bit of waste out of the body. So we're gonna reach forward. And if you can't wrap your arms around your leg, just grab your foot. If you can, reach around, grab your, find your hands together, flex your left foot and work your head to your knee for three breaths. Inhaling, head up. Take your left arm across your body. Now you can just hook the elbow and twist if you know how. Reach around and try to bind your hands and look over your right shoulder for three breaths. After your third breath, release, and we're gonna switch sides, bend that left knee. Make sure you have a nice space between your foot and thigh. Take your left shoulder inside, wrap your left arm around your knee, wrap your right arm around your back, try to bind your hands, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up, exhale, release. Take your right arm, bring it onto the outside of your left knee, twisting deeply, reaching around the leg to bind if you know how, and then gaze over your left shoulder. And exhale and release. Straighten the legs, shake it out, bring the bottoms of your feet together. Bring your thumbs to the arches of your feet. Press your elbows into your thighs and slowly bring your belly towards your feet as you gaze to the front edge of your mat. After your third breath, inhale, come up, moving into a balancing posture. Take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, lift your feet up off the mat, open the legs wide and gaze up, three breaths. And after your third breath, bring it in. Straighten your legs and extend your arms, slowly rolling down to your back, one bone at a time. So now that you're here, let's bend the knees and bring them into the chest and massage the back, rocking from side to side. And bring your feet flat on the mat, spreading your feet a little bit wider than hip width. Inhale, lift your hips, interlace your fingers, walk your shoulder blades together and press into those feet. Breathe for three. Exhale, lower down slowly. Hug your knees into your chest, rock from side to side. We're gonna do that two more times.
Feet flat, arms down, inhaling lift. And exhale, lower down. Hug your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Last one, feet flat, arms down, press into the feet, lift up, walk the shoulder blades together. Exhale, slowly lower down, hug your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Reach your arms overhead in a circle and let your knees go to the right side as you turn your head and look to your left side. And then inhale, bring your knees up and exhale, let your knees fall to the left side as you look to your right side. And then inhale, bring the knees up, bring the hands underneath the hips. And bring your legs straight up to the ceiling, holding here for 10 breaths. And then exhale, lower your legs to a 45 degree angle. After your third breath, lower them to hovering over the mat. Hold here for three more breaths. And exhale, slowly lower them all the way down to the floor. Release your hands from underneath you. Bring the bottoms of your feet together and press your hands into your inner thighs. Tuck your shoulders underneath your body. Let the back of your head rest flat on your mat and close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And straighten the legs. Good. Spread the feet out about the width of your mat. Bring your arms down by your sides or place your hands on your chest and belly. Whichever you feel most comfortable with. Close your eyes, keep them closed. Now, is there any part of your day where you challenge yourself to be still? If not, let these next few minutes be that time. We're going, 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 even if we're just sitting and awake and reading, or watching TV, just shut it all off for five, for five minutes, just for a few minutes, two, three, four, five minutes. Let your body be soft. Let your mind be clear. 
and know that every moment is a chance to start again. So just take these next few moments for yourself and be still. When you're ready, slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing your awareness back. And turn your head from side to side, loosening your neck. Stretch your arms over your head like it's your first morning stretch. And bring your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Rolling on over to one side when you're ready. And slowly push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And first of all, thank yourself for coming today and giving yourself the gift of your yoga practice. It's not easy to, you know, do a yoga practice on your own every day. I mean, it's hard enough to get to a yoga class where you feel so good around other people, but it's sometimes even more challenging just to do it from the comfort of your home, own home, where you are the one accountable for you. So appreciate that quality in yourself that you showed up today and you did this for yourself. And I appreciate you watching me and allowing me to guide you through this yoga practice today. May you all go with peace. Namaste.